Ever pondered the reason behind ancient people's preference for winter baths? It might seem counterintuitive to us, snug in our heated homes and hot showers, but for our ancestors, the practice held a significance that transcends mere physical cleanliness. Winter bathing is no new fad. Its roots trace back to the nomadic tribes of Northern Europe. These hardy people facing harsh, frigid conditions discovered that plunging into icy water had a rejuvenating effect. It was believed to fortify their immune system, increase vitality, and even impart a sense of spiritual purity. It was a ritual, a testament to their resilience and connection to nature. As societies evolved, so did the practice of winter bathing. The Roman Empire, known for its elaborate bathhouses, adopted and refined the tradition. Romans would often alternate between hot and cold baths, finding that the contrast invigorated the senses and stimulated circulation. This practice was not merely a leisure activity, it was a social event, a symbol of prosperity and sophistication. The tradition endured through the Middle Ages, albeit in a modified form. Public bathhouses fell out of favor due to various socio-political reasons, but the practice of winter bathing persisted in private residences and monasteries. It was a ritual of purification, a means to cleanse both body and soul. In modern times, winter bathing has seen a resurgence in popularity. From the polar bear clubs of North America to the walruses of Russia, people are rediscovering the benefits and exhilaration of a cold plunge. Science has even backed up some of the ancient beliefs, linking cold exposure to improved mood, increased metabolism, and a stronger immune system. In a nutshell, the tradition of winter baths has come a long way from the icy rivers of ancient Northern Europe. From a survival strategy to a social symbol, and now a wellness trend, it has endured the test of time. It's not just about the shock of the cold, it's about the sense of invigoration, the feeling of being alive. It's a testament to human resilience, a connection to our past, and perhaps a hint of our future. So next time the chill of winter nips at your nose, consider this. Maybe our ancestors were on to something. Perhaps it's time to embrace the cold, to plunge into the winter waters, and to feel, truly feel, the vitality of life. After all, winter bathing is more than a practice. It's a tradition, a philosophy, and a way of life.